Well, so I was very lucky, yeah, kind of growing up with the likes of Alistair Cook and Ravi Bapara at Essex, so learned a lot from those guys. And um, yeah, I've been lucky to travel a few places on tours and, and, and kind of learnt a lot from various people within the game. And my job here now is to transfer those skills, I believe, to pupils at St John's. Not only at the elite level, but I try and cater for everyone. And that's kind of our main ethos at St John's, is catering for everyone in a C team or an A team. Start Tuesday and Thursday with normally first and second train together, just doing practice with like batting, bowling, keeping that. And then Friday, just before the game, the team fielding exercise. So a typical block fixture will be first to fourth team at senior age group and there'll be ABC team at under 14 and ABC team at under 15. So it's a pretty busy schedule, considering we start at year nine here as well, so we start at 14 plus. Uh, we're going to lower school September next year, so we'll obviously introduce under 12 and under 13 cricket going forward. Yeah, so we'll play 50 over cricket in the first 11, and then as we go down, we'll find that under 14 age, for example, play 35 overs. Um, they'll also be entered into the Surrey Cups at under 14 and under 15 level, and they'll vary between 30 and 40 over cricket. And then we'll normally play a couple of 2020 games as well throughout the year, just to give them an experience of playing the modern kind of one day cricket which they see on TV, because they know they play their, their ramp shots and stuff like that, so it just gives them a good chance to practice those skills. Yeah, it's definitely helped my game tremendously, just doing all the different formats. Club really only do 2020 and then the time games on Saturdays, but yeah, so it's always much better to have all the opportunities here. So our winter programme will take place from October half term onwards and what I tend to do is we'll have three evenings a week that are dedicated to cricket. So they'll come in and do just drill based stuff with me before Christmas so I won't get out any nets until after Christmas. So it'll be basic bowling and batting drills just drilling their technique and then after the Christmas holidays they'll come back and they'll get into more what I call performing under pressure. So we can do that by getting the nets out, getting the bowling machine out and really putting them under their pressure. Uh, in a net situation. Yeah, it's really good as well having someone who knows the sport as well, because sometimes when you don't have somebody who knows it as much, it's quite hard to learn. Yeah, it's pretty expectant, you know, the kids are always excited to play for the first team. We would have done a couple of training sessions to build up for the game, um, and we'll just have a brief meeting just before the game starts. We'll get everyone together in the change rooms and just discuss our tactics, kind of most of the oppositions we play, we know kind of they're better players and what we need to prepare for and then just kind of go through our usual drills as, as a warm-up in preparation for that game. Yeah, definitely, it looks really good as well with all their training as well. It looks really professional. Uh, it gets extremely competitive on Saturday, especially local derby against Epsom and everything. So it's just, throughout the day, it just all changes and everything. So it's, that's why I love cricket really that much. <laughs> we started the girls cricket last year, so we put out an under 14 side and they played their first competitive matches against local schools and clubs. And that's a great experience and exposure for the girls that they've never experienced before. So they're just natural sportsmen that want to get involved with cricket, which is great. Oh, we're taking our under 15s to Dubai at Easter. They're going to be taking part in the Arch Trophy, which is a, a great experience for them playing in very alien conditions. Um, so I'm hoping it will be a great learning curve and lots of experience playing against spin bowling, I'm sure. Well, I mean, obviously out there it's really hot, humid, so we're going to learn how to play in different climates as well. Pitches will probably spin a bit more, so it would be quite good to get some experience playing out there. That's the biggest thing I learned through my playing days, was what didn't I do, what did I need to do in order to get to that next level. And that's what I'm trying to pass on to the pupils here. And I feel that from a coaching point of view, I'm better prepared to do that. I've got a lot of experience and I try and pass that on to the, uh, to the boys and girls here.